Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Hey there, Four States. This is Luke Taylor. Welcome to another edition of This Week in Crowder College. We are on the phone once again with Cindy Brown. She is the Director for Public Information out there at the college. And hey, Cindy, it's always good to talk to you. Thanks for visiting with me, Luke. Well, I hear that the Ag Department out there is having uh, an interesting time right now. What are they up to? So our Ag Department is actually, uh, they have over 20 students, plus then our um, instructors, advisors in Costa Rica. They do an ag seminar trip. It's a 10-day travel seminar, and this time they've gone internationally to Costa Rica Mm. to see and experience all different kinds of agriculture. This is something that they started and been doing for a long time. They do at the end of the spring semester, and then they'll do one also between the um, fall and spring semester. And they'll travel, you know, anywhere across the United States. To as well as foreign countries. They've been to Costa Rica, Panama. Um, They've been overseas to um, Scotland. So they've been a lot of different places. Hmm. But experiencing agriculture in all different kinds of ways. Yeah. Well, I I was looking here at a Facebook post they put up um, just not too long ago, and they're talking about uh, 17 different species of snakes that they were studying. And so they're, they're getting quite an experience out there. Yeah, and that one was a venomous um, species study, so interesting. They're doing anti-venom research, which, you know, to think about it, we luckily don't have too many poison snakes around here. We do, but um, to think about how they do research to figure out how to create the Mm anti-venom is kind of fascinating. Mm. They'll do everything from, I was trying to think of some of the things they've been to before, Um, coffee plantations, coffee bean plantations, banana plantations. Dairy farms, dairy farms where they use the methane gas for other things. So Mm -hmm. lots of ways how they um, recycle, reuse, repurpose what they have. Um, And just the difference in a dairy farm of what it's like here compared to what it's like in another country or even just another part of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they they can take these, um, these skills or these ideas that they learn about uh, maybe even all the way down in Costa Rica, but they could bring some of that back and, and even implement that um, here in Missouri or, or wherever they end up. Oh, absolutely. And I think this says several things. One, it gives us new ideas or new techniques. How can we do this? Or maybe how do we modernize what they do to maybe even help that country? So there are a lot of things that we can give and take back and forth from those, as well as um, career opportunities, because I think sometimes we sell ourselves short in what agriculture can do. Agriculture has a lot to do with anything that, you know, feeds or helps people or does things. There's so many things that agriculture can do um, that we maybe don't consider, we don't really think about. Mm-hmm. And I think this opens the eyes of some of those students just to see the opportunities. Like, I never thought about working in that industry. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'll give an example, the new GIS program that we're starting, Geological Information System. Um, that could help farmers in where would be the best place to grow certain crops, where how can I better utilize the space that I have to do, you know, work, make this farm work. There can be all kinds of things that that could do to help. But that's a real data crunching mass. So somebody who kind of maybe enjoys ag or grew up in a farm setting but really maybe has that mindset of someone who's more, data-driven mathematical, Mm -hmm. there's an opportunity. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. So we see a lot of our students coming back with their eyes um, just mesmerized by all the things they learned and got to see and do and um, experience. A lot of these places will let them do hands-on too. So they'll pick coffee beans. They'll um, rake the beans for drying. They'll help package and do things at the banana plantations. They'll help do some of the projects, Um, reading through what they did day one 
was exciting at the venomous snake place, but then they also got to experience eating some insects, crickets and mealworms. <laughs> Wow. I could have missed that part. <laughs> yeah, I could have missed that part. By some of the pictures, it looks like some of the kids could have as well. But, you know, just the opportunity to get to see and experience those things is huge. And the students, while they're they're getting credit for this, because they do have to journal every day and they have a paper they write at the end. And hopefully when they get back and all this is done, we can have one of their instructors with maybe a couple of the students so we can share their experience with, with our audience. Yes. But but they're they're working to earn credits to go to that. So our ag group is really good about giving back to the students and giving back to the community. So they will cater meals. They will do different things to earn money and earn points to be able to afford to go on these trips. And that's huge because it offsets the cost. If a student had to pay for all this out of their pocket, um, it would be hard for them. Mm-hmm. So doing those meal caterings and working those, they're able to to – Learn and earn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, oh, I think that's a great opportunity. It is. It's a great opportunity for them. And so anybody out there who's listening who might just have an interest in agriculture and and says, you know, I'd, I'd like to go on a seminar like this one of these days. Um, what, what does somebody have to do to qualify for a trip like this? Well, they'd have to be a full-time ag student. So, I mean, they need to be in our ag program and stuff because that's, you know, part of it. It's kind of like a research class or a capstone class. It's a it's an ag travel seminar class. But I think encouraging even even if it's, well, I don't want to go on this, but I'd like to do something. Maybe even participating in things like Aggie Day or some of the different workshops and things we have. When we take students every year in conjunction with University of Arkansas to uh, the National Poultry Convention, it's actually International Poultry Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm. And so they're exposed to all kinds of businesses and opportunities that deal with poultry. So everything from, you know, egg producers um, to uh, Chick-fil-A, you know, any place that serves chicken, there could be all kinds of things there. So it it's just, you know, one of those opportunities that I think we, while we have lots of experiences here, getting to go and see how people do this around the world is just, you know, a once in a lifetime chance, and not many community colleges can brag and say they had do hmm. something like this. Yeah, yeah, I bet, I'm sure, um, and something that these kids will never forget. And before we go today, uh, if people want to just follow along with this trip and see what the kids are up to, uh, where would be the best place for them to go for that? You know, our ag group is doing a great job of putting it out on their Facebook page. So, if you go to Facebook and go Crowder College Aggies, and you don't even have to have a Facebook account, just type in Crowder College Aggies and look for their Facebook link. They try to put a post or multiple posts out there every day of what they did. And so I think that's a great opportunity for people to see what the students are doing. Hey, Cindy Brown, thanks so much for joining us on This Week in Crowder College and telling us all about that trip. Thanks for having me. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.